Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solution Stream. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL stored procedure tutorial for beginners. This is our part 19. Inside this video session guys, we are going to link a stored procedure concept with PHP. And inside this video, we will see about insert data operation. Inside this playlist guys, so far we had seen about manual creation of our stored processor using phpMyAdmin tool. As well as by using command, we have created all the sections of our MySQL stored processor. Now inside this video, we are going to make a stored processor and this time we are going to call that stored processor inside PHP. If I back to browser, now inside here, we have created a database something called mysqli underscore processors. Now inside this database, we have no tables. So I am going to create one more table inside this database. So let's say tbl underscore users and it will contain, let's say five columns. The first column, it should be ID, name, email, let's say phone number and finally let's say status of the user. Inside this, let's say that it should be int and the default value we are going to assign this column as 1, phone number let's say varchar and the size should be something let's say 15, email address is varchar and let's say 15 characters in length, varchar and let's say 50 characters in length. So successfully we have defined all the columns inside this tbl underscore users table. Now I am going to make the first id as auto increment and it should be primary key so we need to select inside this index drop down as primary key rest all the columns contains basically the null values now successfully we have defined the schema of this table if i press save button now successfully we have created our tpl underscore users table now inside this table we are going to insert our data but that the data actually we will insert by using MySQLi stored processor. So if I back to more section and again back to database, routines and inside this routines we have to create that. So basically so far we have seen about creating our stored processor using command as well as using our phpMyAdmin available tool. So inside this video we are going to prefer about the coding background. So let's say delimiter and inside here I'm going to specify double forward slash and finally let's say de delimiter and semicolon here. Now inside this let's say create if I make some zoom. So create let's say processor and processor name let's say insert user data and inside this as we have made our table to all TBL users, this time we want, if I ignore all, go to structure. Now we want four columns called name, email, phone number and the status. It should be auto increment. So we don't want this ID column. So back here and let's say that this should be input parameter because we are going to take input from the user. So input, this name and it should be where care and let's say 50 characters in length. Next we have column something called email. It should be where care, 50 characters in length. Next we have one more parameter something called in and it should be phone number. Let's say that where care and let's say 15 characters and one more input parameter we have to pass for the status. So let's say in a status and it should be int here. After this I am to specify two lines for the begin and let's say for end here and double forward slash here. Next, inside this begin and end, we have to provide our insert command logic. So let's say insert into let's say tpl underscore users and here I am to specify the column names. So the column names we have called name, email, let's say phone number and status as we can see that these are the four columns we have defined inside this tbl underscore users table so back here let's say values and inside this values the first column values we have inside this name parameter 
inside for the second, email, next for the phone number. These are the parameters actually we are taking from here, what actually we have passed inside, inside this insert user data function. Now next, we have to pass call the status. So let's say status. Now all we have done now, if I press go button and I think we have some error and this is expected delimiter near at position 10. So if I back to top to fix this error and uh, this is the delimiter error and also inside this stored processor declaration actually we have specified the size along with this data type so we have to also provide here something called 11 for this int data type. Now again if I press go button here again we have some error again back to top and here as we have specified about the size and what mistake actually we are doing here and something if I give some space here press go button and successfully we have created our stored processor to insert the data. Let's say that I am going to call this stored processor manually at this time. So if I go to more section routines and right here as we can see that if we press execute button or by the help of command if we want to call this stored processor so we have to use call call and this is our stored processor name. Inside here we have to pass some values and something at the first we have specified about the name. Second let's say that this is dummy email address let's say phone number and finally let's say status and it should be integer value so if I press go button as we have inserted data go to TBL users and if we go at the top as we can see that we have inserted our first data using MySQL store processor now this time actually we have called this command by using our phpMyAdmin. Now this time we want to call this statement or call this query by using our MySQLi inside PHP. So if I back to code editor, now this is our file called insert-data.php. So if I inside this file, let's say that I'm to connect first of all the connection with our MySQLi connect function and let's say the first host name so it should be something local local host next we have to pass our password for our database root and password we have something called root this is username and this is our password next we have to pass our database name so if I back to browser copy this database name and it should be MySQLi processors after making successful connection or to validate our successful connection let's say if mysqli connect error number and this is a function after getting that it means we have some error so after getting this error let's say print a let's say that error and here I'm going to use called mysqli connect error this is a function used to print our error message and it will return the boolean value that if we have any error inside this connection or not so finally inside this block i am to exit while getting any type of connection error else let's say that insert query if we want to insert any data we have to write insert query so the insert query is something like that what we have specified inside our stored processor. So if we want to pass our manual query so we have to write something called insert something called insert into we have to pass our table name here we have to pass our column names it should be column names here we have to pass our values and finally we have to execute that. So it should be executed called MySQL I query inside this the first parameter we have to pass our connection variable and second we have to pass our insert query variable. Now if I get rid of that now I'm going to wrap all these things inside if to check our status or the return value of this 
MySQLi query execution. If it is inserted, so let's say that data has been inserted into database. Else, let's say echo failed to insert data into database. Now these are the two scenarios, but this time we are not going to write our manual query inside this insert query variable. We are going to use this time MySQLi stored procedure. So how can we write that? Back to browser, copy this syntax, go to editor and I am pasting right here all these things here. This is called to call any stored procedure. This is our stored processor name and these are the values. So let's say that this time I am to create Rahul Kumar Rahul at gmail.com and let's say this should be dummy value and status is 1. Now this is the insert query we have passed right here. Connection is a variable and echo as the successful insertion statement. So if we make some error in our connection variable details back to browser and if I run about insert data.php file and as we can see that here we have error something called access denied so this block basically works here now let's see that we have made a valid connection now this time we are going to run our insert query using MySQLi stored procedure so save all these changes back to browser reload this page now data has been inserted into our database. So back to our table, reload this page. Now inside this table, as we can see that here we have the second row inserted, but this time we have done our insertion using MySQLi and PHP. So this is the video basically to demonstrate that how can we use of or how can we make use of our MySQLi stored processor with our PHP commands. So inside this we have seen our insert data operation. In the next video we will see about update, delete as well as read operations. So inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.